and ladies fans to another presentation of the Kenyan Sports Connection as we keep rolling along through our preseason previews. Today we preview the Kenyan College women's soccer team and joining us today in her 11th year is ladies head coach Kelly Bryan. Coach, wanted to uh, first look back on last year. Last year, five of your seven wins had three or more goals scored. And is that how this year's squad is going to be portrayed, you know, score early, often, and put pressure on the other team? I, three or more every game would be fantastic. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, for the first time in a long time, we actually have the potential to have some offensive threats in more than just one person. So that's exciting. and. Yeah, early often, that's great. That's something we'll talk about with the team, but it's something that we would like to do and take some pressure off of our defense. And one of those people that actually scored a lot of those goals for you last season was Rebecca Romain. Had a league-high 13 goals and is primed to have another season like that mm -hmm. offensively. Is she the main gun in your arsenal this year, and is that uh, kind of what you're leaning on this year? Rebecca's always going to be a goal scorer. That's the beautiful thing about her. She... Um, she doesn't necessarily compute pressure in her mind. She just wants to play, and she knows where the goal is, and that's just what she wants to do. So um, she will get a lot of attention by the opponents, and she will definitely be a key in our offense, but she's going to have a little bit of help this year. So she's going to be excited about that. She already is. Name some of those people that are going to be helping Becca score the goals, set her up. There's not. It's going to be a different cast of people. Let's put it that way. Um, we, we do have some returning players that maybe weren't in the mix last year in those categories, but they have the potential to be this year where we might move some things around. But we have some young players that are really making a, a great push right now who um, could be combining very well with her. So that, that part is definitely exciting. So look out all over the pitch because you never know what you're going to find. Right, right. Yeah, we're just trying to find the right combinations. And she's, she's undoubtedly the leader as far as she knows who she's playing against. She knows what to expect from the other team. And she knows what we're trying to do. So um, everyone's just going to feed off of her. And it's nice to have people that are willing to go right there with her. Now, defensively speaking, you guys <laughs> tossed out five shutout victories. So that mm -hmm. kind of also pairs well with the high octane offense and, and that also included a nil nil tie that you took to pod to. Mm -hmm. Now you lose a lot of that backline defense last year with a lot of graduating seniors. So how do you replenish that to help replicate last year's defensive successes? Replicating that will be a challenge. It's a challenge any year, but losing three of your four starting the defenders is a challenge. And Truthfully, I don't have all the pieces together yet. We will, but it's going to be a young cast of characters. And uh, it's, it means there's going to be some mistakes made, but it also means there's a ton of enthusiasm and energy and young legs. So that's a good thing, and we're just going to try to find the best mixture of people. And we've got uh, a really strong leader behind them in Lauren Wolf in goal and um, you know some other goalkeepers that also can do the same thing to bring a lot of confidence so it's gonna be a challenge but a fun one and our girls are really competitive and we always take pride in our defense so while I'm okay with scoring a lot of goals we also want to tighten it up back there and it's just gonna be um, some uh, some trial and error with some things but that's okay I don't mean to put you on the spot, but each year new names come up on the roster and everybody's asking who are they. So some of those freshmen that might be joining the program and making an immediate impact, who are they? Well, we've got a lot of them working really hard right now. Um, the offense that's, that we have been discussing a little bit, we've got a couple that really want to make a push for that right now. And uh, Taylor Jamil is one of those people, she's in great shape and she's worked very, very hard up leading up to her time at Kenyon. Um, Maggie Smith is another one who is going to really be adding a different kind of a punch offensively. She doesn't, neither of those two players play the same way Becca does, but that's actually a good thing, but they're also very goal-minded. So um, exciting to see how that's going for them so far. In the back line, uh, Olivia Walsh is doing really well right now, we're nursing a little bit of an injury, but uh, but there's a lot of potential for her and she's actually uh, at least 5'6", which is exciting because most of our defenders are 5'2". So, um, <laughs> it's 
some potential there. Um, she's, she's working very well and, and uh, we'll get into it very soon. And Meredith Creek is another one of our freshmen who is um, another one of the 5-2 people, but very scrappy, a hard worker, and understands the game very well. So, so those are some of the freshmen that are really making bids right now, and um, some others are still working on it and will help us in the midfield or fill a couple other holes potentially. For those listening on the audio broadcast, you're listening to head coach Kelly Bryan of the ladies soccer program, now in her 11th season, looking forward to uh, the 2013 campaign. And for those watching the video, you're watching the Kenyan Sports Connection and our ladies soccer preview. Now we mentioned some of those names that are going to be new to the roster, and this next one is new to your roster, but not necessarily to Kenyan ladies sports. Mm -hmm. Jane Simmons, she'll be joining the program this year, and uh, so what are you expecting out of her, or what does she contribute that your team will value? Well, the great thing about Jane is that she's coming off of a highly successful season on the lacrosse field, helped their team do great things in postseason play, and got a lot of accolades for herself as well. She's an athlete, and she, again, she's maybe 5'7", that's also a benefit for us. Um, she's just a competitor. And right now, she's just reacquainting herself with soccer. She was off a bit for a year, and um, she's just getting her touches back a little bit, but she's in great shape. She's just bringing that competitiveness that you saw anyone who was you know, watching lacrosse in the spring saw that out of her. And so it's really exciting, and honestly, she's capable of playing in different parts of the field, so just knowing there's some versatility is exciting. So she's bringing that fire, which is good. Now you get going very quickly out of the gate, mm -hmm. playing a pair of matches at Mavic Field to open up the season on August 30th and 31st. That's a lot of minutes in a short amount of time, but in that short amount of time, what do you look to gain out of it and what do you hope to learn about your team in that? Well, I want to win. Um, <laughs> you know, that's playing two strong teams. One we play regularly in Wilmington and Hope. We've played intermittently. Um, they've been very strong coming out of their conference in Michigan. So. You know, I, I really do want to walk away with W's. I, I can't say that I will be happy just walking away feeling like we competed. Yes, I want to compete, but I want our team to build our confidence from the very beginning. So um, it means that we are going to have to find the back of the net more than once, more than likely, because I expect the other teams to be doing the same thing. And we're just going to have to really, I guess the biggest thing here is making sure that our defense starts to find their confidence and that we're finding the right combinations and just figuring out the pieces. But I want to win. I, you know, I really can't say I'm going to be happy otherwise. Um, I'll even take an ugly win um, or wins and just keep putting it together. So that's our goal right off the bat. Now looking out uh, amongst the horizon, the ultimate goal is to win the conference. So those that are going to be providing you the greatest challenge or those games and matches that you really look forward to this year, who are those teams and uh, what do you look forward to? Wow, our conference is so competitive every year. Um, but trying to figure out who, are, who may be at the top of the conference and where the middle might be, honestly, I think is really wide open this year. For a variety of reasons, there's been some coaching changes at the schools that have been successful, so you just never quite know how the team adapts to that change. They could be seamless or maybe it takes a little while. So, um, And there's other programs such as Denison who are traditionally very strong and are making a comeback after an uncharacteristic year uh, or two for them. So, you know, there's... I, I really don't know. Um, they actually asked, you know, for a preseason poll and I really struggled trying to figure out who Basing it on last year doesn't mean that it's going to be the same this year. So I would, I would like to think we're going to be in that mix, but I couldn't tell you right now who's going to be number one. I, I just think it's going to be an amazing battle all the way around. All, all I really hope is, one, I hope we're in the mix, and two, I just hope our conference is strong, as strong as we normally are. Last year was a down year for us. Um, typically, we get two teams in the NCAA tournament, and we didn't have that last year. So I just want it to be competitive all the way around because we're good enough for that. 
So what you're saying is that we're just going to have to watch every game and find out Absolutely. For <laughs> Absolutely. You're going to have to really come and check it out whether it's home or away. Yes. Well, in, in talking about that, it's so hard to figure out your team and learn everything that we need to know in just a, a matter of minutes. So what have we missed? This is your chance for open form. Tell us something about your team that we need to know before the start of the season. We're going to be in every game, and we're going to fight and scrap and claw to the end of every game. That will never change. That's what our program has always been about. And we are going to have some young faces running around, but we're also going to have some core, strong leaders in the older classes that are going to tie in those younger players. And um, have a new assistant coach who's already done a phenomenal job, Caitlin Mallerney, and she's bringing something a little different to our team. You know, I've had uh, alumni that have been phenomenal with us, but there's something when a new person comes in and brings a different perspective. So just fitting her into it and um, just getting our team to compete. You know, that's what you're going to see. Our kids are always going to compete, and we just want to make it exciting, and that's what we're hoping to do. Well, it sounds like it's going to be an incredibly exciting season. We wish you the best of luck in that. And just a, a reminder, all you ladies fans out there, August 30th, right here at Mavic Field against Wilmington College. That match will begin at 5 p.m., so come down and see it for yourself. And then the very next day, they'll be right back at it against Hope College. So if you missed the first one, come back and get the second one. Coach, good luck to, the, to you and to the team for the 2013 season. This has been another production of the Kenyan Sports Connection. Be sure to visit us online at athletics.kenyan.edu. Like us on Facebook at Kenyan College Athletics. And you can find us on Instagram as well as Twitter at Kenyan Sports. For Head Coach Kelly Bryan, I'm Ryan Gasser. Thank you for watching.